Greetings everyone, it's Gryfer here. We're looking at a replay from myself for a change. We're looking at a game in the T5 Premium French the Destroyer, the Sirocco. Um, initially, this boat was obtainable when she first came out as a set of mission chains or a reward, but she has been available in the Premium Shop for a long time. Um, She's a great T5 DD in my opinion, the start of the 130mm guns, she gets four sets of single barrel 130mm guns, she gets two racks of torpedoes, you can see here that she has no smoke, and she has actually a rather small hit point pool, I am running from memory survivability expert, so that gives me 13,900 hit points to play with. So a very small hit point pool. We are on the map Trident. We are on Epicenter and we are on North America. Up against us is a few T7s, very few BBs. So two BBs per team. Uh, we got a sleuth of cruisers. My God, it's like playing on EU. And then we got T22 and the Podvoisky. So it's got a few, a few interesting things. So my thought process here is um, I really, really want to catch things out with my guns. I've got main battery reload booster, as you can see down there. I've got four, I've got three smokes. So going behind this island will benefit me. I open up my guns. T22 is there. So I've got the Connersberg and the and the Aoba. They can all hurt me. Decide to open up on the T22. He does have Hydro. In all honesty, he should be using Hydro at this stage for, I assume, screening his ships. Not sure if he has or he hasn't, but um, it's going to be a bad day for him. Definitely a bad day. First blood, devastating strike, and rampant... Oh my god. It could have been a double strike, but no, the Connersberg only ate the one. So, in, in the end, the Connersberg, for whatever reason, kept sailing straight, as it too has Hydro. After the T-22 went down, don't know if the Torps were spotted or not, but... Uh, could have used the Tydro, but this is going to be another kill, if not for me, for my team. Um, another fire, second kill, 25,000 damage, two kills in a DD with no smoke, and I have taken under 400 hit points worth of damage. Um, enemy focus fire, because I, I was detected. I should have been smacked, in all honesty, by the AO, but they got an emerald floating around too, but... I don't continue on here because, again, I know that I'm easily spotted by Hydro um, cruisers close enough or the enemy Podvoisky. So I'm just going to be careful. And the shores, they've got enough good quality vessels that can really ruin my day. But great, great start to our team. We're two, two boats up, I fired. You can see the detection's up, so there is something, and it's the Emerald. The Emerald has me lit. Really, really generous torp sinking. I'm going to hit the shores here. He's already turning out, so there is no way in hell they're going to connect. The emeralds are disengaging as well. So it just means I get I get to farm this this lovely duke of iron for free. Not, not that I'm doing much farming at 300 damage per shell pop, but you get the drift. Again, not much damage, but okay, okay. It's not really farming. It, it is annoying the enemy BB with a fly sword. I should have been going to AP potentially at this stage. I was just trying to cheekily get a fire before doing that. Yeah, death by a thousand cuts at four seconds a pop or five and a bit. But with two caps up. Pressure's definitely on the opposition, I would wager here. That Iron Duke, I'm sure, comes back to haunt us. So, I have used one of the main battery reload boosters to finish off those early vessels. So, generally, I don't like to utilize them unless I'm going to get some sort of clear advantage from them. It doesn't mean that we don't make mistakes. Sometimes you pop it up against a DD in a duel and... Um, the D enemy DD pops his smoke, and there's not much you can do about it, so you have to pick and choose when to use it. Podvoisky is contesting the center cap, and we lose our first boat, which is the Kira of the enemy shores. On the opposite flank, on the west flank, has 
taking care of that business. Enemy, as you can see, are really clustered close to the rings where our team seems to be more diversely spread, shall we say. Trying to get into a position. I'm not firing my guns at this stage. I do hopefully want to ambush the enemy Podvoisky, but more so, I don't want them to know where I am. I, I'm going to be detected if I fire. Oh, the Visby goes down. That changes my plans. For all I they, they may think I'm still on the 8, 9, 10 line spotting the Aoba and the Iron Duke, but if I, if I can get in here and... jeez. Oh, um, we had a two-ship lead. Now we're down a boat, and... Looks like we might be down on some cap shortly. RPF, it's questionable if you want it on a French DD. I, I like taking it um, for hunting down DDs, getting these torps out here like this. The Emerald's in there, Podvoisky's in there. Either way, this is going to make them hurt. There goes one Connors, but I've got to be really careful. The enemy have two shores. Yep, still two shores. And they, they would absolutely wreck me. We've got the Iron Duke ourselves in the middle of the ring. Not good for him, I'm presuming. Now he's going to get burnt down quickly. And, well, Pavoyski, that's a lesson. Don't sit in your smoke screen. Particularly go off for shooting here only because they know where I am. Emeralds are there, but I have got a friendly shores to. No, no friendly shores. I took a little bit of damage. Bad me. Our own Duke is going down pretty comfortably. Enemy bayons low. So again, comfortably, I could fire here. Uh, yes, I'm using the Connorsberg, probably our Omaha. Unfortunately, they have to spot the, the enemy battleship at but I'm able to get every five-ish seconds or so. Um, I use my battery reload booster since so every two seconds. Trying to set more fires and just finish off this BB as quickly as possible because he's starting to heal. As you can see, he's healing up through that damage. And we want him off the board. The quicker he's off the board, the quicker we... Well, he didn't get the uh, Connorsberg, but we, we did lose another cruiser, so... What started off as a really, really strong game, it's turning quite dire. We, we've got one BB, four cruisers, and me, versus the enemy still have currently two battleships. It's about to be one battleship. If, if, big if, yes, the Omaha and Miyoko. Okay, we're back to slightly evens. <sighs> this is what everyone likes to see if they're in a battleship an enemy Omaha in the middle of the map. But now, I'm looking... We've got two Omahas. They're not going to last long, the way they're firing. We've got a Nuremberg, and we've got a New Mexico on the one line. They have got... I would honestly love to open up on the Omaha, especially when he showed broadside, but they've got a Shores, they've got an Emerald, they've got a second Shores. They're dominating this central ring just with their cruiser presence. We're going to have to hopefully remove a cruiser or two without losing too much. And I, I have to get into a position where I'm not going to take focus fire from all four. Emil Bertin comes into the race. So yeah, with the Emerald there, there's roughly all five cruisers in this area. Praying, praying to my team to make a difference. Don't have speed ready. I decide to open up. Thankfully, the enemy shores um, uses AP. So there's the other shores. It, it, it's like Festivus. Oh, wait, no, no, Omaha. Damn you, Omaha, being clever and actually using that HE. Oh, they, they all. Oh, no, no, the shores still likes his lovely AP. So it's, even though Sirico, Sirocco has a very small hit point pool. With your speed boost when it comes up, it is very dodgy. Um, as you can see, you, you can you can um, dodge a lot more of those uh, floatier shells. E even if I still call this knife fighting range with cruisers, eight nine Ks. Uh, 
not turning in yet, turning into these boats at this stage would be death, but the other good thing by me opening my guns are they're ignoring um, some of my cruisers for a few seconds. Shores goes down. That makes it a lot easier. Now it's an Omaha. Speed boost is up. Omaha's playing well. He, he, he is, as you can see, he's not sailing straight line. I had AP loaded, I used my main battery reload booster in anticipating he'd want to go broadside, but he did not. So, um, waste of a main battery reload booster. Omaha's doing nicely, he's, he's turning to avoid not only my shells, but the other cruisers. New Mex I haven't seen much of, these are going to hurt if they connect. At just under 5k I should start giving him some lovely citadels in a minute. There's the first one. Ah, uh, lovely, just under 5k. So if I had a main battery reload booster, this, the Shores would have, I mean, the Omaha would have been dead a lot quicker, but for whatever reason, I whiffed that myself. I'm ignoring the Omaha at this stage, saying my team can polish him off. Probably was a bad choice in retrospect if I take a little bit more damage here, relying on teams. Yeah, Omaha's still hitting me. But I had my guns to bear on the Emil, and I figured he would have been a better target, and I, I think I chose wrongly. I think I chose wrongly here, because in the end, the Omaha is still alive, and he's still doing me damage. <laughs> <laughs> the New Mexico is missing him. The ah, uh... yep, yep. I should have done my. I should have done the job myself in the first instance. I gave up so much of my hit points, thinking that between a New Mexico and an Omaha, they could have done the job. Now, it is five v three. It's not over yet. I and Gamil, they've got an emerald somewhere in play. I am literally um, a one-hit wonder. Literally, I get hit once and I'm a wonder. I'm a figment of someone's imagination. We still have Miyoko on play. We've got an Omaha. The new Mex is damned healthy. You can't see it, but he's literally on full health. And we desperately... We don't need him to cap. We don't need him to throw his life away. We need to get him into the contest. We need him to use his hit points. The Nuremberg can farm as he does at range. Very... Probably should have held a rack in all honesty there. Um, was just trying to be a little bit... Hoping that the Iron Duke would um, straight line. But he doesn't. He does not. As you can see, he's turning out. So I'm just monitoring, zooming in. As you can see, the Iron Duke's guns are rotating away, so it's nearly time to open up. Keep spotting. He's just fired his guns, so a good 20 seconds. His guns are, on, are not on me. Again, I'm getting shatters. Maybe this wasn't the smartest, smartest recourse ever. My Torps miss, and this is where I rue that um, I didn't have, I didn't, do those torp spreads differently. Still we're getting we're getting the second ring, third ring slightly contested. I'm dark. There's the New Mexico. He's firing HE as you do in the all freedom AP boat. I'm asking him to we need his hit points. I'm literally on nothing. 1,300. He, he has probably got more hit points than the enemy team combined at the moment. And um, he's being selective with its usage. Still, I'm trying to get spotting here. Uh, we get Fiery Fury. More, more fire chance with each cap. The Emerald's outside, so I feel confident now to hit the Iron Duke. The Emil's really out of range. The BB's not looking at me. Unfortunately, I don't have any more um, speed acceleration boosts. Another one would come in handy. The Emerald actually takes down the Miyoko. So the enemy nearly have a 300 point lead at this stage. 
I'm in the center cap, going for full glory. Iron Duke's starting to look at me here. He gets another fire. Nuremberg takes down the Bertin, so we're, we've closed that gap to under 200. AP's out at me. Accelerate. I love you, French DDs, and the Emerald's trying to polish me off too, but with that fire ticking over a little bit, we're going to hopefully. Wow. I'm, I'm really on life support now. Um, I swear that was a misclick. I swear that was a misclick. <laughs> For whatever reason, I fired my gun and it didn't even hit. But um, the Iron Duke seems intent upon the Omaha. Emerald's still trying to polish me off. I am really, really low here. Thankfully, the Omaha's down. I'm not lit anymore. We get this cap. Another buff to my HE, my fire setting chance. And literally, I just want to stay now to spot. Um, I'll out detect the Emerald, I'll out detect the Iron Duke. The Nuremberg's doing fine on our team. He's sitting back. His guns are going to be great from range. We, we need this new mech just, just to go nose in. Um, he could easily polish off an Emerald and an Iron Duke, and I hope. No, no, New Mex is still firing HE. Those Nuremberg shells, but you saw the flatter trajectory coming in, which was the New Mex, but look, who am I to complain? The job's getting done. The Iron Duke, in irony, is firing AP. Iron Duke AP is really, really useful. Do not underestimate it. We're still... Oh, just over 200 points down. I'm going to get into this third ring. Iron Duke has a DCP, but in all honesty, he should go down here. The worry here is if he goes dark, because there's three minutes left in the game. And um, if he goes dark, it sails away, and the Emerald sails away. In that three minutes, they may just have enough of a lead to win. Finally, my spotting damage is going up a little bit. For some reason, the team stopped shooting at the Iron Duke and they start hitting the Emerald. Focus fire, if, if you can, but the Iron Duke is so low. He, he here is the key to our victory. I know it's nice to see that we had such a strong start. Our team was trying to actively make it a challenge for everyone involved, but the Iron Dukes are done here. And... It's now 40 points, we're getting the last ring. We really should not lose it from here. Spotting damage is only going up a little bit. I'll cheekily shoot soon, but um, the Emerald's literally done for. Looks like the chat even says, shoot the BB, and there is more fire chance. Now, Sirocco, tier five French premium DD. If you're up for a tier five, tier five's not too expensive. My god, get this fun DD. You don't need a high-end captain. A, a good good 10. Um, it's not a contesting DD, so you can even use it um, with a fearless brawler with a bit of range. That was that end game, as you can see. 72,000. I obtained first blood, a devastating strike, and a kraken. I got the five kills in the end. Um, for for that map now in basics P here only 2200 but that is nearly 800 clear from the Nuremberg Nuremberg did well we've got the um, we have the new mechs coming down in fifth who finally got into the game so thank you to the new mechs for staying alive the opposition put up a great fight only shores on 1200 basic speed they had a few boats close to the 1000 so it was a great match it just shows you even with low hit points um, sometimes good positioning, picking on targets, using what skills you have can make a game go your way. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed the content, click that subscribe in YouTube or follow me on my Twitch page where I stream regularly. Details will be in the description on this video. Take care out there in the world and have a great one.